Easy, James here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get a little bit more professional sounding recordings of your mixing. Now I've been browsing through YouTube lately and um, I've come across uh, loads of mix videos and they've been really good, like the mixing's been top notch, but the only trouble is the sound quality in the actual mix, uh, the actual video has not been very good, it's been either a bit quiet or you know, it's a bit loud at points and it starts clipping and distorting, um, so you know, it's not done the mix justice really, because the mix is really good, but if the sound quality is a bit crap, people aren't going to enjoy it as much. So I'll just show you how you can make it sound a little bit better. Now, the thing is, normally, uh, like you know, back in the day, we used to have mix tapes, right? We used to have to record our mixes onto cassette tapes, send them out to nightclubs and promoters to get noticed. Uh, then, you know, sort of late 90s on to about 2004, people started using mini discs and mini discs were like the way forward. Everyone was like, yeah, you know, send out mini discs. Um, that's kind of redundant now though, because everyone just uses the internet. People just upload it and, you know, if, the, if you was a promoter looking for new talent, you'd just trawl through the internet. You'd find somebody within 10 minutes because it's so easy to upload it now and make it accessible to everyone. Now the thing is to get a decent recording a lot of people say oh you need to get a Mac, you need wicked software, you need a decent sound card, you don't need any of that shit. All you need is a decent computer or a laptop, everyone's got one of them nowadays, and a free bit of software. You ain't even got to pay a penny, all right? So the free software we're going to use is called Audacity. Uh, I, sh I showed you how to download it in another video, I'll put it as a link below and I'll show you how you can use that and it's seriously easy right? and you don't need to spend any money. I'll show you now how to do it but I'm going to have to go to screen capture on the computer and I'll show you exactly what to do. I finally got some screen capture software, yay! Anyway, over to the computer. Right now again we're not going to have to um, pay for anything to do this. Uh, everything we're going to use for this is free, the software we're going to use. Um, so if you need to know how to get Audacity then uh, there's a link uh, below in the video description which will take you to another video where I'll show you how to download it and install it. It's really easy, it takes about two minutes. Um, so if you've already got it then launch Audacity, if not you need to um, download it and launch it. Okay so first thing you want to do if you haven't already is go to view and you want to go to float meter toolbar and uh, bring it down here because it's no good all being up there all small you can't really see it um, and what you want to do is you want to shrink it down and lengthen it out a little bit shrink it down and lengthen it out, I didn't sound right alright, um, narrow it down and widen it a bit okay neither of them sounded right but I'm going to go with the first one uh, then what you want to do is uh, here around here you want to click on the little microphone and that's going to start monitoring the input so at the moment it's monitoring whatever input's coming into this sound card, which is my voice, this microphone. Now what you want to do is when you record in your mix, you want to make sure you leave yourself plenty of headroom, okay? When I say headroom, make sure that there's plenty of space between uh, where the level meter is peaking and the top of the scale, which is usually 0 dB. So um, once you've made sure it's not too loud, uh, don't be scared to keep it down here about minus 15, minus 12. It's easier to louden it up and make it louder than it is to get rid of clipping. Because once it's clipped, it's destroyed the file. You can't get rid of it. So um, yeah, basically make sure uh, that you know you've you haven't got it too loud. Um, so because my voice isn't going to be particularly interesting to work with, what we're going to do is um, I recorded a quick uh, two-track mix earlier before doing this video, so I'll just drag that into Audacity now, and uh, basically when it loads you'll see what I mean. Now this just sort of reinforces my point a little bit about keeping it down, because imagine if that there was already you know sort of nearer to 0 dB, that's probably going to start clipping there. You can see where the mix is, it's a little bit louder than the rest of it. So what we're going to do is, um, we're going to make all of this one consistent level and we're going to make it so that we can increase the gain and get it to a nice professional sounding level. So first of all what we want to do is, we want to get to a quieter part here, the quietest part, and we want to play it and uh, get a, a reading of the uh, off the level meter at how loud it is, what it's peaking at. <laughs> Alright, that's peaking around minus 8 dB. So I'm going to go with that. We're going to say minus 8 dB. So what we're going to do is, when you've got how loud yours is, uh, click beside the track here to select the whole track, or just press Control A, whichever one's easier for you. 
um, and then we'll go to effects and we'll just select hard limiter. Now you really need to be careful with these things, you take them too far you can really destroy the track. So what we want to do is I'm going to type in what I in the uh, where it says dB limit here. Uh, I'm going to do minus 8 dB. Um, you type in whatever yours was at the quietest point. Okay, so when you click OK, what you'll see happening is it's going to actually just flatten off the wave and make it all one consistent level. Uh, but it's only going to do it to the quietest part. Okay, so there you go. You see what it's done there. It's made it all one consistent level and it hasn't taken too much headroom off. It hasn't damaged the dynamics too much. So that's all good. So the next thing to do is just play the track in the loudest part which was the mix and just make sure it doesn't sound scratchy, distorted or just generally rubbish. Okay that sounds fine. Now the only problem now is it's really quiet. Okay. Um, now what we can do is now we've actually hard limited and we've taken off of those peaks um, what we can now do is we can now make it to a professional level. So let's go to select the whole track. We want to go to effects and we want to click on amplify. Um, now what we want to do is we want to set it to um, minus 0 0.1 dB. So it's just shy of 0 dB. That way you can guarantee that there's going to be no clips, no digital overs, no nothing like that. So um, you know when you upload it it's not going to start making that horrible clipping sound. Um, when you render this to MP3, it may uh, bring it down to minus 1 dB, but anyway, we'll just make sure that it's good to start with. So uh, here we go. So when you click on this, you'll see uh, quite a dramatic change actually when it's done this. And it should bring it up to a nice, there we go, nice professional clean level. So now if you play this at the loudest point, it shouldn't sound distorted, clipped, and we shouldn't have red lines appearing here to say that it's clipping. <laughs> Just check other parts. Excellent. It's loud, but it's not too loud. So that's all good. So now you've done that, we can now go File. You want to export as an MP3 and uh, name your file and save it somewhere, preferably not on your desktop. Um, but also make sure if you're using it for video editing or anything like that or burning it onto a CD, save it as a WAV. Just prefer, uh, preserve the quality, sorry. And uh, you know, don't don't go to MP3 if you really don't need to. Obviously, if you're lacking hard drive space or whatever, yeah, fine, MP3. If not, go for WAV. It's better quality. So there you go, and you can make other changes to it as well. Let's say, you know, a bit of EQing. Say your sound cards might be a little bit more bassier than mine. So it might have recorded with a bit too much bass knock the bass down a little bit, do a bit of EQing. Audacity is really easy to use, so just play around with some of the effects, just see what sounds good. Because at the end of the day, people are going to be listening to this, and you're a person, like other people, so think what you think sounds good. Just listen to it and think, well, I don't know, it sounds a bit tinny. Knock the treble down a bit. Just go with it, and you know, the more time you put into it, the better it will sound at the end of the day. Uh, you know, and then you'll have a mix that isn't too loud, it's like clipping and distorting and sounding like it's played for a guitar amp and it's not, you know, quiet and sort of could be a little bit louder and people haven't got to turn their system right up just to hear it. Got a good, happy medium, good crisp volume and it sounds great. So there you go, I hope this video has been a help. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, bung a comment below and feel free if you've used this technique to uh, make a mix video and you've uploaded it onto YouTube, feel free to bung them as a video response below as well because I'd like to hear them. So there you go, I uh, hope this video has been a help, thank you for watching, nice one.